For most of my life, I believed that once I improved myself and achieved my goals, I'd finally be truly happy. I thought happiness would come once I reached a point where I could relax and be content with my life. When things weren't going well, when I was overweight, broke, jobless, and living in my parents' basement, spending my days playing video games, I would tell myself, of course I'm unhappy. I need to fix these problems. If I lose weight, get a job, and maybe find a girlfriend, then I'll be happy. Eventually, I started to turn my life around. I lost weight, gathered the courage to talk to girls, and found a job. I felt on top of the world, probably the best I'd ever felt. I was confident, happy, waking up with a smile. I remember thinking, if I feel this good now, imagine how amazing it'll be when I've reached all my goals. I'm not even there yet, but I'm already feeling great. At that time, I still didn't have a girlfriend, and I hadn't completely reached my fitness goals. But I was progressing, and that felt incredible. But then, I reached the goals I had set for myself. I was sitting on the couch in my own home, with the body I'd worked for, a girlfriend by my side, and a job. Sure, I wasn't rich, but I wasn't broke anymore, and I wasn't the guy playing video games in his parents' basement. I should have been ecstatic, right? But instead, I felt empty. Despite achieving these goals, I didn't feel as good as I expected. In fact, I felt worse than when I was working toward them. It was then that I realized something. My inner gamer recognized the pattern. Just like in games like World of Warcraft, where you work hard to get the best gear and then realize that having it isn't as fulfilling as the journey to get it, Real life is the same. In the game, you think the fun will begin once you have the best gear, but when you finally get it, the game feels empty. You miss the excitement of working towards something. The same is true in life. You don't magically become happy when you hit a milestone, like getting a certain amount of money or landing a promotion. Happiness comes from the process of working toward your goals, from seeing progress day by day. It's about building the courage to ask someone out, to ask for a promotion, and even picking yourself back up after a rejection or failure. That's where real fulfillment lies. In the consistent effort, the learning and the growth, the life of your dreams doesn't start at the finish line. It starts with what you do each day to move closer to your goals. And here's the key. You need to always have something to work toward. It doesn't have to be huge. It just needs to inspire you. Otherwise, like in a game, you'll just stare at your character, wondering what's next, feeling lost. The second, more important lesson is this. The life of your dreams is probably much closer than you think. It doesn't begin at some distant point in the future when you've ticked off all the boxes. It begins now with consistent action. You could feel happier in just a few weeks if you make a plan, figure out what you truly want, and start working toward it every day. Break out of your comfort zone, and you might find yourself living the happiest moments of your life much sooner than you expected. A lot of people are already living a pretty good life, but they're too caught up in waiting for some future achievement to recognize it. They're stuck in the mindset that happiness is something to be earned later. But the truth is, there is no final destination in life. There's always another goal, another level to reach. So don't waste these potentially amazing years waiting for some future event to validate your happiness. You could be living the life of your dreams right now if you recognize that it's about the journey, not the destination.